Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more Forbidden West. We are going to be continuing from where we left off last time and yeah, I think we are heading back to base camp right now. Got to drop off on um, Poseidon. So yeah, I think we got like one more to get before we could go and get Hades. their faces with something called makeup like the karcha why yeah it beats me it probably meant something to them as it does to my people and the Tanakh. i just think my face says it all as is that's all that it does it was just to make them look better honestly <laughs> nothing special hey look who's back you find what you're looking for? I did. One step closer to taking the fight to the Zeniths. Can't wait. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms. Like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. Oh, that's kind of funny because that's exactly what we were like doing last mission, kind of. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach, anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. I better get going. All right. I'll be here uh, if you need me. I know y'all don't want to like, sit through me playing a whole game of straight, but I'll do that on my own time. But yeah, this new, um, Has anybody seen one of my machines? Sorry, I was just kind of waiting around? to like the traffic pass. Why don't you check the cash? This new you left it there when you dropped off all armor that I'm wearing, I like a lot. Oh. I like the design. Hope it didn't get uh, let's talk to Zo. Aloy, you found another one of Gaia's sub-functions? Two down, one to go. I'm glad her healing can continue. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. 
I better get going. Right. You've got that sub function to deliver. All right. Let's go. We could talk to the rest when we get back. Oh, Aaron has new stuff to say. Jesus. It's hard to keep up with all this. I know it's not like Mass Effect where it's like super important if I talk to them, but still. Welcome back, Aloy. Hello, I Zaya. I have recovered Poseidon. Stairs. Beta has something you need to hear. All right. Okay. Give me a minute. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. I'm back, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. What would you like to discuss? How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can, then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah, she filled me in. It sounds promising. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices, and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you. The ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. Alright, I think that was it. Oh, we got this. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with, too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there. One not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project. 
and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world. An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right. Because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So, I guess things got better, eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. Okay. This is a lot of information. Um... So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. Alright, so we come back and we could like talk about more of this stuff, but for now, I think... We should go. Who are we supposed to talk to again? See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. Uh, right. Our clone. And we're also supposed to talk to the guy with, um, one arm. Who I forgot his name. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, we're supposed to talk to him because apparently he has some sort of solution for his hand, which is probably a prosthetic. I'm definitely not getting any of this. Pretty sure he's in here. Is, is this it? Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. Oh. I was thoughtful of them. That's cool. This is the rite of passage that Bashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Yeah, it's unfortunate that he, you know, died. Um, what is this? My old spear. Rust helped me make it. And I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. So there's a bunch of stuff in here we can examine. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, what was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, Control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I 
I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. The rebels know exact. Hey. Aloy, I hope all is well enough under the circumstances. I'm holding up. Good. All right. We gotta talk to him about his hand. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert, if you carried the carcass of a water animal with you. They called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. Oh, I get it. Well, that's funny. I should get going. Back to my training, then. Wait, you can hear the ocean? You know, when you listen to a she uh, uh, um, seashell and you put it up to your ear? That's what he's talking about? I thought we would have like, gotten something more about his arm, but I guess not? Or maybe it's like a quest they need to do or something, I don't know. His little big man. She found that recording from the Daddy data on your focus. Mom, She's been watching it a lot. Party, right? I think it helps yeah. calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Hi. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big. But there's something you need to tell me. While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda a while back. I think she knew Elizabeth Sobek. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? 
She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zenas couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zenith never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames. Ed showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do, but I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Oh. 
All right. Um. What should we do next? Actually, now that we have the um I'm telling you. thing, we can actually finish this mission, the rebreather. So I'm actually gonna do that, and then we can call it. Can fast travel from here. Should be okay. Yeah. All right, we're back. Let's go complete this quest really quick. So we still gotta find a way past this like fencing. So we have an entrance right here. It's a Horus, Hanon. Just broke through the perimeter. Erica, the mobile cover prototype is in the vault. All three keys are required to override the lockdown. Can you bring me the one from your security console right away? Okay, just don't get killed before I get- Erica? Erica! Sounds like I need three of these keys to get to the mobile cover system. Those coordinates for another console on file. I should check it out. Oh, it's pretty far away. where that is. I don't have anywhere that I could fast travel to over here, so... I will make the trip, though. Why not? Do I have a mount? Should, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Is there a way across? Be welcome, Elvin. Well, I hope a bristleback trip 
That was weird. Anyway. Probably kill that Thunder Jaw, but I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Oh, you want to go, big boy? Okay. Could give it a taste of its own weapon. Where is it? Pretty sure I shot it off. There it is. All right, let me deal with this smaller one first. Oh God. Okay. Oh, my mom got destroyed. trying to avoid that. 
Alright, that's him dealt with. Where's the other one? Alright, you are hella annoying. I'm gonna need you to sit still for a bit. And yeah, I can use this. There we go. Alright, where's the flying one? I thought there was one flying around, but I guess not. Oh, here it is. Alright, what are you weak to again? Ice. Cool. It's convenient. So I can shoot you in the face. Unfortunately, my mount seems like my mount was destroyed. This looks like some sort of old yeah. outpost. I think I got everything. Holy shit, that could have been bad. Uh... Uh, I didn't want to do that. Jesus, can, can you stop? Fuck. Can I, like, not jump over it? I should be able to make it.
Another console. Oh, so I could come in through this way. Why am I so dumb? <laughs> I could have done this like minutes ago. It's raining hell over here, Sergeant! <sighs> Those shit, Corporal. The egg head over at Voltas needs our security key to get the mobile cover prototype out of here. Get to the console and get it out of here! We have a second enemy contact incoming! Another horse! Someone call in that goddamn airstrike! Another access key that never got to this prototype. There's coordinates for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. Alright, sure, let's, you know, wrap this up. Doesn't really seem to be too far away. Unfortunately, I no longer have my mount. But it's fine. It's all good. What the fuck was that? Suck a dick. I don't have time for you guys. The coordinates I found are here. There's gotta be another one of those consoles around. Wow. Water, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Outside, Doc. Done, thank God. The mobile cover prototype is locked in the vault. I need all three keys to open it, including yours. Nope. VP rank means I've got a golden ticket to Elysium. If you want that key, come back and get it your... Uh-oh. Well, Dawn was a real charmer. Typical for Pharaoh, I guess. That's three access keys. And... Another set of coordinates. Maybe where they were intended to go in the first place. All right. I don't want to leave. Hey, it's not too far. I really don't want to spend my time fighting these things, so I'm going to avoid them. It's kind of a waste, honestly. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot these little bastards can swim. You know, I never feel safe on the water. I don't know if anything's in here with me, but yeah, like I always feel super unsafe in these missions, especially when I can't defend myself. Like I can't use my bow or anything. This place looks familiar. I don't know what I'm gonna um, get for completing this. Wait, before I surface, I think I missed something down there. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but... I'd be able to interact with that. Looks like a facility used to be here. This place got hit hard. The vault mentioned on the recordings should be in here somewhere. I just have to follow the coordinates. Oh, shit. For fire and lightning and water for the other guys or vapor or whatever that is steam whatever you guys know what I mean but I might be able to sneak past them you didn't see shit bro turn around and fuck off Bye bye. This looks promising. I'm guessing this was Hernan. This must be the vault mentioned in the data I found. I should be able to access it. All right, we got the three keys. That's one. Now. 
I might even be able to make something out of it if I use the data on that drive Gendas found. I want to know what happened here. So I'm actually going to make use of this fast travel pack. Uh, I gotta get outside first. Oh shit. Alright, I should be, yeah, we're good. We can leave from here. So that looks like one of these shield things from like the shield weaver armor. So I don't know what that's gonna do. All right. The glory of You've returned. You Who am I? Found something, didn't you? Come now, don't just keep it to yourself. It's um difficult to explain. Please, I. I just want to understand as much as I can. Definitely not a tray cover. The old ones fought a massive battle here against machines. Some fled, but others stayed behind to try to salvage this, to help others carry on the fight. Did they survive? So, they failed. It made it into the hands of the most renowned warrior in the Sundom, did it not? And every item we recover will be used to ensure their memory lives on. I didn't see any machines at the dig site, so yes, I suppose that is true. I'll need that tray and your workbench. I'll have to tinker with this to turn it into something I can use. Of course, Savior. It's the least we can do. May the sun light your way, as you have illuminated ours. Let's take a look at this thing. Wait till the scholars hear about this. Hmm. Oil technology, nor craftsmanship, this weapon deploys a shield. Oh, I guess that's kind of useful. So it's basically like a shield that explodes after it takes a certain amount of damage. I think that might be all of our special gear. We'll go down in the Feels history right. oh, no, books. There's something Time else. to test it out. So I guess that's for like other stuff. Pops, of course. Yeah. Um. How do we use it? Oh. Wait, is this it? <laughs> yeah, let me make sure. Yeah, I gotta equip it. Uh, where am I gonna put it? Oh, I guess here it could work. Um, the hell? I've been made. Why is this not working?
Again? Hello? Oh, it's gonna be like really close together. So I can't really create like, you know, something too wide, I guess. So useful though, because I could like hide behind him and take shit off. Alright. I'm gonna kill this guy really quick and then actually call the video. Alright. Oh, you want some? Alright. Let me get to a campfire really quick. But yeah. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button. We got ourselves a new weapon, so I think it was kind of, you know, all worth it in the end. Um, yeah, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.